Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, I will be sharing with you how to make half face typography effect or typography effect in Canva. So it is also known as the text portrait effect. So let's start with it. So I am choosing Instagram post for my canvas. And in the first slide, I will make sure I write the uh, typography. Uh, which I want to make it in a canvas or a portrait ok so for that I will be using uh, text here I will go to add a heading and write here B or some ok so after that I will go to uh, this font effect here and here I will choose Bernoulli ok so if you don't have here you can search it here because it is my recently used section so I have already tried and tested this format and it looks good so you can use this font which is B E R N O R U ok so after that double click on the text and click on Ctrl A ok after that we will work on the alignment and click on right align ok so right alignment is done now you need to have the scales because I need to mark the mid portion so I need here the 540 because 1080 is a full pixel here full dimension and 540 is the half dimension ok so I have to mark it till here and make it size bigger for the font let's make it bigger and after that I will just work on the spacing and just decrease the line spacing ok so this one is done and make sure your text is in white color and the background is in black color ok so for that I will choose shapes here this square shape and I will just put it here and make it a rectangular shape till the half frame ok this one is done let's change it to black color and after that we will just click on Ctrl A and make it slightly small we will understand later uh, why I am making it slightly small but uh, for the moment let's click on share click on download and make sure it is in PNG and no other uh, settings you have to do you just keep it in PNG and click on download so as you can see it is downloaded bring it to canva ok click on add page and add this here ok now let's make it bigger ok so it has come to the half point ok so after that click on edit photo so after clicking edit photo click on bg remover or the background remover here so as you can see the background is properly removed let's check if the background is properly removed or not let's change the background color to other colors and as you can see the background is properly removed now I will work on using a image for this example I am choosing this image portrait of a woman which is free to use for Canva Pro users you can choose any photo you want but as I have a Canva Pro so I am using this image I will click on set image as background and after that I will work on the image ok make it slightly bigger so this one is done let's make it slightly to the left ok 
so this one is done now I will just clear your doubt why I am using only black color why I am using PNG this so effect is done so uh, let's clarify your point so for that I will click on add page and I will just use one of my other designs to prove that uh, why I need to use only black color so let's make it to the frame okay let's just crop it till here because we need till here only and let's click on background remove so as you can see the background is not properly removed when you are using a color which is other than black color if we put a color here you can understand that it is not properly removed but in the same way it is done for black color it is properly removed as I have shown it previously so this is the reason for using black color now why I have uh, used PNG format is because the background removing is only possible when you are using a PNG image and not in any other formats in Canva so that's why I have used a PNG image so for better clarification let's work on the transparency and make it to 75 okay and after that I will use a uh, subheading and here I will write and move and use the exclamation mark okay so after that I will change it to color white and here I will use script which is Let's go to script here and I will use isom script. Okay, here I will just keep it here and make it size bigger. So here I have done with my tutorial, hope you like this tutorial.